Hey y'all, I Rick Sky here. Now if you watch my videos, you know that I'm a huge fan of the DJI Phantom line of drones. I started with Phantom 1 and progressed all the way to Phantom 4 Professional. And it's been an experience that's gotten better and better with the newer revisions of the drones. Mavic Pro came out. Mavic Pro excited me because I was asking, I was begging on social media. I want a smaller, more lightweight drone. Something that's more portable but still capable. Then DJI released Mavic. I mean, completely awesome drone but not as good, in my opinion, from a video quality and stability perspective as, say, even the Phantom 3 Pro or the Phantom 4. So for that reason, I'm super pumped about the DJI Mavic Pro 2. Inevitably, because of how rapidly DJI has progressed with their DJI Phantom line, DJI Phantom 1 initially did not even have a gimbal, and it didn't have a DJI branded camera. And we've seen DJI, uh, they've innovated so much, they've They've started to create their own cameras. They've started to create their own gimbal systems. Now it's just a really refined product line. You got the drone, you got the high quality camera. It's great. You don't get the fish eye like you get with a GoPro that you used to use on the Phantom 1. So, I mean, it's really neat. And I think the Phantom 2 Pro, not the Phantom 2 Pro, the DJI Mavic Pro 2, I think it's really going to refine what they have signaled with the DJI Mavic Pro, the original Mavic Pro. Because they put that out there they wanted to test the waters. They wanted to say, hey, what's the market reaction going to be to a smaller, more lightweight, foldable drone? It's not a DJI Phantom. You know, people love DJI Phantom. Most people love DJI Phantom. But they wanted to step outside of their comfort zone and release a new product line that's foldable, more lightweight. And obviously, the market reaction seemed to be outstanding. Now, I'm not going to shoot you a line of bull on this channel because that's not what I do. I take it out in the field. I tell you what I think. And I hear animals walking around. I'm in the wilderness. Um, but I tell you what I think. And I really like the Mavic Pro. But it wasn't perfect for me. And that's why I'm super stoked about the Mavic Pro 2. Because I'm hoping for a modular camera. I'm hoping for 4K 60 frames per second or better. I'm hoping for maybe even... It doesn't have to be smaller or more lightweight. I think what they've got with the Mavic Pro design is perfect. I mean, I... I like the size, I like the weight, it's, it's doable. Especially you strap a 4K 60 frames per second camera on it, a, a spherical camera, you know, create Mavic Pro 2 with a modular camera system. And then what they could do, what DJI could do, is position themselves to, in essence, make that Mavic Pro 2 a camera accessory. And then they could continue to create and sell better and better cameras. There's going, in my opinion, there's going to become a point in time where there's no need for the drone platform itself to become even any, any fancier. Because ultimately, I look at a drone as a tripod. It's a tripod that flies. Now, obviously, if they made it waterproof, if they made it both waterproof and submersible, you could fly in the sky and then you could land on water and then it would turn into a submarine, that would be a cool innovation. But I think in the short run, all that we really need, all that we really want, we being drone hobbyists, we just want something that's a little bit more refined than the Mavic Pro. Something where we can get the Mavic Pro 2, we can say this is perfect, I don't need a Phantom. Obviously, I don't need an Inspire. It's too big, it's too heavy. That thing is a brick. I mean, come on. And I know some people like it because they're, you know, they've got multi-million dollar media budgets and they're strapping a super duper 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 high-end camera on the bottom of the Inspire. And I can understand that application, but just for as someone that's going out and wants to capture very high quality 4K 30 or 4K 60 frames per second video, you know, let's get that in a smaller package. You know, let's, let's take what was great with the Mavic Pro, let's make the Mavic Pro 2, and let's make things happen. Now, you can check the link within this video's description. You can find all my favorite drones there. Check out 400orbelow.com. You can find a plethora of how-to to, uh, how blog posts that I posted all kinds of stuff, field test, you name it. If you're new to my channel, be sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel, youtube.com, um, uh, mosquitoes, uh, forward slash irixguy. Check out all my content. I've got tons now, but I've got so much more coming soon. And that's what's so fun about this hobby, is being able to experience, not just experience, but experience in a real world environment and then share my own opinions with the world by way of my YouTube channel. So, I mean, it's not... It's not like, ooh, you know, I'm not trying to, not trying to pitch this as being the, the best thing since uh, bread and butter, you know. But I'm um, just telling you what I think. And you can see how it performed for me, and you can tell me what, I, what you think. 
and hopefully I'll be doing that for the DJI Mavic Pro 2 soon as soon as it hits the market. So thanks for watching and be sure to subscribe youtube.com forward slash iRixGuy. Y'all have a good day. Hey y'all, iRixGuy here. If you enjoyed this video, please be sure to subscribe, like, and share. It's viewers like you that enable my channel to continue to grow. Thank you.